We very, met last we, night. We did meet last night. Officially. Yes. Right, right. It was very, it was very important business. It was. Um, and I'm absolutely glad that we got to see more footage today. We're going to get a little more experience of what is going on. And even though we have not seen much of your character in previous iterations, we know Aragon very well. <laughs> what can you tell us about his great, 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 great grandfather? Yeah, 30, 38th, I think, great grandfather. Um, Elendil, a great, uh, super capable mariner. He's widowed, so he's br trying to bring up these two, or three now, adult children uh, who are struggling with their own grief. So it's caused a bit of turbulence in the family. Um, and how, the, how the, t the turbulence in the family is also reflected in where Numenor is at this moment in time, this, this extraordinary island nation gifted to the men by the Valar and the, uh, and the elves for their loyalty in the first age against Morgoth. So, so, but just as we see in the beginning of, of this series, it's on a bit, of a bit of a knife edge between a sort of more nationalist view of Numenor, the people who want to live forever like the elves, they're called the Kingsmen, and those who are more loyal to the elves, they're called the Faithful. And Elendil is right in between those two things. Pragmatically, he, he needs to be as part of the new Numenor, but his heart is elvish and his heart is faithful, so he's got a real battle between his head and his heart. Speaking of Numenor, in the Second Age, there's so many languages in Tolkien that flourish, uh, and that we're hopefully going to get to hear some new ones. Uh, have you been brushing up? I know that you are very good with acting in other languages. <laughs> Can you do any? You know, because there's from Tolkien. Yes, I, I mean, there, there are quite a few moments where I have to speak some Quenya. So um, it was wonderful. Having done a film uh, over in Bollywood a, a few years ago and having to do a lot of scenes in Urdu, I, I, it was another moment where I, I, I was presented with a whole new set of letters and words and structure. So it's been glorious to speak it. As it was glorious to speak Urdu, it's glorious to speak Elvish because the rhythm, and, I, and I'm Welsh by background, so there's a lot of similarity in there, but uh, there's, there's a scene where I, I, I speak to uh, Galadriel, and there's just one little word that I say to her, which is, which, which is actually in the Lord of the Rings movies, but it's Namarie, and there's something about the, the set of sounds in there that just uh, always gives me a, little, a few hairs on the back of the head. I love that it's so lyrical. Finally, what is the thing that you're most excited for fans to see going into season one? Obviously, as a proud Numenorian, I would say the island of Numenor. Uh, also because they've done such a spectacular job. The set that they built, I mean, look, we're in the era of CGI, but, but it's limited in terms of what they actually physically made of Numenor. And we stepped onto that set for the first time through the alleyways, the way they built the history into the streets, things being built on top of other things as you see the ages go by. Uh, a little bit of um, sort of Numenorian graffiti over the top of a bit of old Elvish. So, so that I'm really looking forward to see. But I think more, more than anything, it's just Tolkien's about heart and love and friendship and loyalty and being prepared to, to go into what you fear. And uh, I think there's a Joseph Campbell quote, which is, the treasure that you seek is in the cave you fear to enter. And, I, and that's definitely from, from the Elendil perspective. I, I look forward to people having their hearts open, because that's what Tolkien does. He opens your heart, even you're surprised, and he does it every time. I love that so much. You just got me even more pumped for this series. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely to see you, too. Thank you.